Hey traders, Daniel here with ImproveYourTrades.com. Today I'm going to show you how to find stocks that have a low RSI value. Um, we're going to be looking for two things with a low RSI. We're going to be looking for stocks that are going to keep going down because their RSI is so low. But we're also going to be looking at stocks that maybe are, are bouncing and going to bounce back to the upside, right? To you know, they were so low for so long, and then they're going to start creeping up. So. Real quick, this video is for educational purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. We're going to use my uh, one of my favorite websites. It's free, finviz.com. We're going to click on Screener at the top. We have our filters in the middle and our symbols down below. What we're going to do is click All, and then we're going to look right here, RSI, the 14-day RSI. We're going to click the drop down and start with Oversold 10. So there's about 8,000 stocks here. We're gonna do the lowest setting, oversold 10. There's only one. There's only one stock with a low RSI under 10, right? That's not good enough, I need some uh, variety. So now let's do oversold 20. So we're taking it up a little higher, but we're still low, we're still under average. So now there's three stocks, right? Still not good enough. I like to have around 50 or so to choose from at the very minimum. I like to have about 200 to choose from, but uh, 50 I would say is bare minimum for me. Now we have 62, right? So these are looking pretty good. So uh, RSI is under 30. What I'm gonna do is click charts here in the middle, and it's just gonna show me the charts first because what I wanna look at is get a quick glance at, you know, at some opportunities. Um, so let's see. B BZQ right here is really cool because there's a blue line across. Let me zoom into BZQ. There's a blue line. So this was the recent, like for the year, this was the lowest point, this blue line. And now it just broke below that, right? Price fell below that. So that's a good indicator. And then it has a low RSI. That means it's not strong enough. It's not going to be strong enough to bounce up back up here, uh, theoretically, right? Anything could happen in the markets, but you know, the high probability play um, for me would be to like get puts on this thing as an option uh, buyer, right? So I would play this um, thinking that it's going to continue going down, right? I, I would not, basically what I'm saying is when I'm looking at this, when I'm looking at the chart real quick, I'm saying, yeah, this isn't coming back up, right? Because it's just, it broke this blue line. It's, it's going down. You could look at the other things. Um, if you scroll down, there's lots of news down here that kind of paints a bigger picture, right? Performance for the week, performance for the month, performance for the quarter. But a lot of stuff you could get just by looking at it. So, again, if you play options, you could do puts on this because it, it helps me. Uh, it keeps going down. So, again, let's see. Here's another one. DRV, low RSI, and this thing just keeps tanking, right? <laughs> this thing is really going um, and one thing I want to mention if you do options there is a setting here where right here option short right and it's optionable so now we went from 61 stocks to 42 stocks so um, some of those stocks weren't uh, you couldn't buy options on that right so BZQ is still here um, DRV is still here Drip is low, right? So we're looking for things that are uh, really trending, you know, rather, trending up or down. If you if you just buy the stocks and hold them, you have to look for things in uptrend, like I, um, Immunogen right here. This ticker uh, looks like it's going lower, you know. But again, there's a lot of support and resistance in here, and this looks like the lowest of the year, of the last uh, 52 weeks. So 350. Anyways, hopefully that helps you. Again, just click on the, I'll get rid of that. Just click on finviz.com, screener, RSI right here, do oversold, do the lowest one, and then just start coming up as, as you get more options um, or different stocks. So again, hopefully that helps. Uh, please like and subscribe and comment, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.